Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Pink Press Studio and I am using the Simple Things collection and I wanted to do a big title on my layout today so um, you'll see how this goes. I'm cutting some strips here that are three inches wide and I'm going to use these on my page. Um, I'm not going to fill the whole page like that but I'm just trying to gather my thoughts on colour coordination here. So I'm going to rip some pieces just like you can see here. Just very uneven rip. I don't want it to be particularly even or tidy. I just want to have some torn edges. And then what I'm going to do is put some letters, hand cut letters over the top in the same colour. So you'll see what I'm saying in just a second. It will make more sense once I start to do it. But um, I'm trying to line up the pattern as much as I can as well. But um, I mean, it's not perfect I could because I kind of forget what I'm doing with the L and then end up with it being too close to the edge. But um, more or less, that's what I'm trying to do here. So you don't see them very well when I put them back down, but I am going to draw around them and I am going to put them on foam. So um, yeah, so I'm just sort of hand cutting them really. I've done this lots of times before, so I'm pretty used to doing it and uh, pretty confident with it. I don't even really draw them out anymore. I just cut, cut them away. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, so um, I've got the L and the E, I'm just starting to cut the V. I think in a second I'm going to cut through this um, so that you don't have to watch all the letters. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. And that that's the O. Okay, now you might notice that my camera is slipping as I'm doing this. And I didn't realise when I was actually filming that that was happening. So apologies that eventually this is going to go off centre. But um, just to let you know. Now this colour, I, I didn't really like how the uh, letter looked on that pink pinky colour so I flipped it over and decided to use the blue checkered instead and I think that that looks good. Okay so you can see my photos there that's my dog looking super cute and chilled taken by a friend of mine and um, yeah and so I thought love was a perfect title for him and as I said I've, I really love making big bold titles like this so um, you'll see a few of them I'm going to I'm cutting off or ripping off slightly more of that paper I just thought that I just had a little bit too much because I want to put some mixed media and I think really it was taking up too much room on the page so I am distressing the edges of each of these pieces. So the top and bottom is torn and the edges are distressed. And I like how that looks. And I'm going to, oh, yeah, now I'm going to do some mixed media here. And I have four different colors and I've kept them out specifically so that I can tell you what they are. I'm so organized today. So this first one is passion fruit and I have all the ink cubes but of course these also come in the full size uh, ink pads. I just put some onto my little piece of plastic there and then I add a bit of water and then I smoosh it onto my page um, like that. And I'm just going to put each sort of corresponding colour below. So this second colour is called um, Summer Shower. It's a pale blue. Super pretty. And this all looks very messy, but once you put everything back on top, it looks much happier, much neater. So this one's called Storm, much deeper blue. Um, 
very lovely colour. And this final one is called Sage, which is sort of a grey green. Hard to describe, but it matches well with, with the colour of the papers. So there we go. As you can see, it looks a little bit messy at the moment, but um, once we put our piece of paper back on, it looks much better. So I'm going to put some foam on the back of the letters, which is going to pop that off of the page. So it's going to make it look a little bit more 3D. Um, and you can see it's a very subtle um, shape on that background. I want it to be a little bit... Um, you know, I didn't want it to stick out lots and lots. I want it to be subtle. So I'm just sticking them down and I'm overlapping them slightly here just so that they don't quite go to the edge of the page. And I really love this effect. I think it's just really nice, sort of almost like a shadow effect with the letters, which I love. OK, and the camera's slipping even further still. I, I can't believe I didn't notice, to be honest. You can even see my cup of tea there in the corner, which I thought was off camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put both photos over on this side by the L and the O. Not sure what I'm doing in the background there. There we go. So I'm just looking for some embellishments in this collection. And before I do that, I'm going to add some foam to the back of the photos to pop them up. There we go. So that pops those off of the page. I've got the um, vellum florals here, which I'm going to use to just colour coordinate. So I'm sort of putting the same colours onto their respective sections, if you see what I mean. And I really like how that looks. I like this little tag. It says, believe in yourself, you're going to do big things. And it kind of made me smile with these photos because we were away for a murder mystery sort of weekend. It was like a city... Um, a city escape. So you walk around the city and you solve the clues. And Buster, my dog, was dressed for a while as um, Sherlock Holmes <laughs> or Sherlock Bones, as I liked to call him. So um, yeah, so he was he was doing big things. He was a detective, and um, it was super fun. Um, I think he enjoyed it. But this is him resting up afterwards. He's exhausted. <laughs> All that detecting. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to stick that on the top of there. That's sort of popped up on some foam as well. This is quite 3D, this layout. Okay, I'm going to use this, these uh, very small puffy letters. It says, my heart. And I like how that looks. I love those little scripty letters. They're really little and um, they're just super cute and then of course what would be a layout from me without some enamel dots so I'm going to color code some enamel dots onto here at the bottom and um, and that will finish off the layout I'm really really happy with how this turned out I thought it was super fun to make and I love the shadowy effect of the title um, I hope you like it too here is the final layout and there are some close-ups as well for you to have a look at. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will link up the collection I used below and I will put the names of the ink colours that I used as well so that you can reference those if you want to, to do anything with those. But yeah, so um, just a reminder, this has been Vicky and for Pink Press Studio. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.